welcome um if you don't know me i'm jenny i'm one of the free sessions facilitators so um before we get started i'm just gonna talk really fast about the free sessions um so it's been going for about three years and then um for the past year we've been collaborating with the racer session folks over zoom uh, which has been really awesome because uh, the free sessions has been modeled after the racer sessions. Um, it was started by Naomi Siegel and Bill Couts in Missoula. Um, and they wanted to set a goal of collaboration across genres and age groups in Missoula. Um, so yeah, it takes place at Imagination Brewing. Uh, so we want to thank them and the fiscal sponsor and arts or uh, an umbrella organization is Arts Missoula, so we want to thank them too. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have about the free sessions. Uh, so now I'm just going to pass it to Haley, who's going to talk a little bit about our curator this month. Hello. Uh, thank you, Jenny. Uh, hey, so my name is Haley Friedland. I am one of the curators and organizers of the Racer Sessions here in Seattle, Washington. Um, we have been operating as a free improvised jam session on Sundays uh, every week for the last 11 years and change. Um, with the arrival of COVID, we have shifted slightly to doing a monthly session on the first Sunday of each month uh, since, uh, essentially since COVID started. Um, we did weekly for a little while and then shifted to monthly and then started partnering with uh, Lake Bottom Sound and free sessions in Missoula, which has been um, again, just like a delightful partnership um, between not just two states, but three with Jenny being in Oregon. Um, it's been such a cool cross collaboration between like minds and good friends. Um, and uh, this month, which might be our last Zoom session, TBD, we'll be taking July off for sure. Um, this month, we are really excited to be uh, curating with Melanie Seaman, who is based in Bellingham, Washington, uh, a very familiar face at the Racer Sessions. If you have attended in person, um, she's often made the trek down from Bellingham to Seattle on Sundays to play and hang and uh, make good friends with everybody there. Um, I've always enjoyed her company and her playing. Um, she's a solid improviser, educator, and person. Um, and it's always so sweet to have her on deck to present. Um, we've seen her present with, uh, let's see, Mike Gebhardt with Simpson Com Con um, and with her group Montreal. Um, and this time, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Melanie, this is a solo sonic improvisation, but a collaboration with a visual synthesis. Yeah, so this is something new. Um... We've never collaborated this way before, so it was a little bit of an experiment. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. It, I think it kind of works. <laughs> um, this, uh, the last year I feel like has been just like, my life has been reducing, reducing, reducing down to it's like bare bones, the bare minimum. What can I do to just um, survive and keep other people alive, uh, small people? Uh, and I think it's only been in like the last two months that I feel like it's time to sort of like, I don't know, it's time to embellish. It's time to like get going and start new things and try new things. So this is kind of, this collaboration was kind of one of those new things to embellish into. Awesome. <laughs> Um, and then we are, um, as we've done every month, um, we've asked Melanie, um, as we've asked each of our uh, curators to choose a nonprofit or a charity or a campaign um, that they want to spotlight and direct donations towards for the month. Um, this month, we are directing donations towards the National Women's Law Center. Um, and they fight for gender justice in the courts, in public policy, and in our society, working across the issues that are central to the lives of women and girls. Um, here is a little link in the chat to their website so you can learn more about them and direct your donations towards them. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about them throughout the evening as well. Um, but I do want to 
get y'all watching and listening to Melanie's set. Um, so let me just grab that on the screen. There's that. Oops. All right. Um,
very good. Um, Melanie, I want to invite you to talk again, um, both or either on um, reflection on your piece and uh, thoughts you had heading into the free improvisations for the evening. Sure, thanks. Um, um, yeah, I, I tried, I don't know, I, my, my themes, I guess, that I gave to myself were, um, reduction in the sense of, like, using, using as few pieces, modules, themes, motives, whatever you want to call it, as possible, but then trying to take them in as embellished as many directions as possible. Um, so like take them and make more of the little nugget that you start with. Um, so that was kind of the prompt that I thought I would bring um, to today. This idea of like reduction and then embellishment or the reverse. Excellent. Um, and then I see that there was a little bit of instruction on this in the chat during the performance, um, but just to reiterate, if you came in late or you didn't see it, or if this is your first time, um, we use the reactions at the bottom of the Zoom screen, um, and we use the raise hand button um, to indicate that uh, you want to be called on to improvise, um, so like this. I've raised my hand, I have a little hand up in the corner of my screen. Um, that tells Jenny, who is gonna be curating tonight's uh, improvisers that you do indeed want to play or perform or participate um, in some improvisational and performative way. Uh, so do that, leave your hand up as long as you do wanna participate and uh, you will be called on and it's gonna be great. Awesome. Um, to start out, Haley and Evan, would you want to start one? Oh, sure. Our household jam. Okay. I don't know. Is it I don't know. The only problem with that, I think we found, is like the echo thing. I don't know if well, we, have... if we just, just improvise off of one computer in one room. Like an actual conversation. Just using that one microphone? Sure. Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to be balanced, but okay. Only one we can try. <laughs> we can try. BRB. <laughs> Everybody hear that okay? Okay, let me, let me yeah. just play this in the back, make sure the back of it is yeah. working. Ooh, that's dry. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice to meet you, Mitchell. Yeah, you too, Michael. Um, where where are you coming from? <laughs> Eagle, Idaho. Oh wow, I'm uh, I'm from Missoula, Montana, right now. So I think that's close-ish. Not really, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <In the> states. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think latitude-wise, we're probably kind of similar. Maybe probably I'm not close. sure. <laughs> How's the level? That sounds good to me. Do you want, should I, should I do that as well, probably? Sure. I think yours is actually. Okay, I can just probably push <laughs> the thing away. Is that a little better? A little better, but it, I think it, it did it again. Okay. Um, I can just is try your, to play. Is your original sound on? It kind of sounds like it's cutting out. Oh, um, I'm not sure. I uh, I can check. Would it be in uh, settings? Yeah, um, if you don't see something in the top left of the Zoom window already that says original sound, then you have to get into the settings real quick. Oh, OK. Um, if, yeah, audio settings. And then like under, like in the lower half, you'll see music and professional audio, 
show in meeting option to enable original sound. Um, let me see. I might need a second to figure this out. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe someone else could hop in and then we could do the next one afterwards. Um, so next we could do uh, Chris Cole and then myself. That would help. How's this for sound? Get anything there? Yeah. Okay. I just have a cheap microphone, so. <laughs> as long as your original sound is on. It is. That's probably the most important thing to actually hear something. Can I test mine too? Bye. Uh -huh. 
Thanks, Chris. I didn't even know you played trumpet, so that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really touched it much lately, but it was cool. Thank you. Um, awesome. All right. So, I think we're going to start repeating people, if that's okay. Um, would, like... Haley and, or no, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, Mitchell and Michael. Sorry, I almost forgot, yeah. Mitchell and Michael. Yeah, I, I turned original audio on, so uh, I'll play real quick and let me know if it's any better. Uh, A little bit. <laughs> okay, it might Can still you... be clipping. Are you seeing like in the top left, um, where do you see where it says original sound? Does it say original sound on? Um, I just left, uh, I went outside of the meeting for a moment and uh, I was able to turn it on in the Zoom setting. Sorry, I'm just using a tablet right now, um, mm. which might have an issue with it. <laughs> you know, I wonder if there's a, a thing with the tablet. Well, like, the other thing I want to say is we have 18 minutes left and I yeah. don't want to worry about it too much. I'd rather you play and enjoy it than worry too much about the audio settings. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Get part of it. It's all Sick. part of it, exactly. <laughs> totally. <sighs>
I feel like I should play drums. I'm also going to try not to like die doing this improvisation. Like my head bones. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Is that being heard? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
jam for anybody that wants to play and we're gonna try to keep it to about seven minutes so Thank <laughs> you. 
make it so much harder to read like improvisational ending body language over Zoom <laughs> than it is in real life. Um, <laughs> well, that's it. That's the session. Uh, thank you so much to Melanie for presenting. What a great, great piece. Um, Thanks, everybody. We are um, archiving this, uh, as you may have heard the Zoom bot announce at the beginning of the meeting. Uh, this meeting was recorded and uh, it will be up on YouTube so you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the session, this may very well be our last Zoom session for the foreseeable future. We don't really know yet. Um, we were always planning on taking July off because the first Sunday of July is Independence Day this year. Um, and we are considering beta testing a couple of outdoor racer sessions later this summer in Seattle. Um, and what other updates are there? Um, stay tuned for the return of free sessions in Missoula, I suppose. Um, Phil and Naomi might have more information on that soon. Um, there is low key, a um, racer session like session happening in New York, um, in Brooklyn at uh, Cafe Kalaka, which is uh, co-owned and operated by our dear friend, Ivan Artiaga. Um, he and his wife, Katie Jacobson, are uh, joining up with a few Racer Session alumni uh, that are living out there to try out a Racer Session-like event there um, on Sundays, or at least weekly. Um, and when we have more info about that, we'll share that with you as well. So if you're New York-based, that's great news for you. Um, and a reminder again that tonight's uh, Donation proceeds um, are going to the National Women's Law Center. Um, I will link that in the chat one more time. Where is that? Um, check them out, doing great work. Thank you, Melanie, for bringing them to our spotlight. Um, any other thoughts from anyone? I think those are all my announcements. Okay, that's all, thank you all. Thanks, Thanks Melanie. Thanks, Haley. Bye. Thank you, everybody.